I'm Misaki Tsukino, but you probably know me as legendary crime fighter Sailor Moon. A few months ago, I took a cooking class, learned basic cooking skills, and now think I'm pretty much Gordon Ramsay. On this show, I teach you how to cook. It's not as easy as it looks, by the way. I'm just a novice, but I'm pretty much master chef. In the name of the moon, I'll cook for you. Today we're making kimchi fried rice because my friend Ami is coming over to do study date or whatever. Really, she just sits there and read and I sit there and hide comics in our textbook. Um, but I thought we could use some snacks. Three different kinds of snacks. So I'm going to make it three different ways. The first way is kind of like Japanese inspired kimchi fried rice. The second one is a more traditional style kimchi fried rice, but I've never done this before, so take my word as you will. And then the third one is a seafood kimchi fried rice. It really is kind of more like a paella. I've never had paella. I learned this word yesterday. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> Should you cook in a raincoat? Probably not, but here we go. Okay, today we have a new friend called a Portable Thing, and it has gasoline in it, and it could explode and kill me. While well, some people like to play with this in their bedrooms, I I'm very scared. So that's why I'm wearing the raincoat. It might protect me. From what? I'm not sure. On to the first kimchi fried rice. Japanese style. We start doing any of that. We need to begin the seafood name because we need it to stick. Huh? <laughs> so for our seafood kimchi, we're going to be doing scallops and shrimp and I want them to be sitting in the marinade that I'm making up right now. And in that is going to be zesty lemon purification and cleansing. It's like a witch kitchen thing my mom picked up. You know that new age stuff is so popular right she now. She told me not to touch this, but I'm home alone right now so I can touch whatever I want. So we're just gonna do a little bit more than intended, but definitely intended. We're gonna add some salt and freshly ground black pepper. And then to the scallops, we're going to add, uh, this says crushed red pepper on it, but it's some red pepper stuff I found in the pantry. And then I'm just gonna take a spoon and mix it all in. I don't like touching seafood, but I like to eat it. So this'll sit and be nicely marinated and have additional flavor whenever we add it to our kimchi fried rice later. And we're just gonna let those sit. All right, now we can get back to number one. Okay, so for this rice, what makes it different and unique is we're going to coat the rice with a beaten egg before we start frying it. I'm gonna do that first because knowing me, I'm going to forget that later. Can I do this one-handed? We're about to find out. Egg! Hey! I have egg all over this hand. Gross. And then you're going to gradually add in your rice. I feel like doing it in thirds makes sense. And I've never done any of this before. I'm literally going off of a lot of videos and things I read off the internet. Oh, and this is like day old rice, by the way. By that I mean I made it last night and put it in the fridge. Just like I say about men, the older the better as far as the rice is concerned. So once you're done, it should look a little something like this. And we're gonna set them aside and start working on our bacon. It's time to use this thing. Probably more afraid of me than I am of it. And now you just take your bacon. It scares me so bad. Looking up safety videos and like a dummy family exploded. Like as in they were like dummies, not like they were stupid, but I <laughs> mean. So this is another great use for a raincoat in the kitchen. When the grease pops at you, you're protected. This is a lot of steam. No, I still don't trust you. When your smoke alarm goes off, it just means you're doing a lot of things right. Sometimes I pretend I'm Howl from Howl's Moving Castle. They can name this thing Calcifer. I'm scared of Calcifer. Be sure to taste test your bacon, it's very important. So I'm going to chop this up into little bitty pieces. I wonder if this would be better if you cut the bacon like before you fried it. I feel like the answer is no. The star of the show, ladies and gentlemen. A little bag from your local grocery store. Mine is from Korea, which is where I think this originates from. I'm not entirely sure, right? It's from mm -hmm. Korea? Yeah. yeah. It, it was born there? I was not born there. Now we're gonna test 
bait with calcifer again. In my research, because again, I've never done this before, it's typically better for you to make fried rice on a large skillet pan like this instead of in a giant wok like many people want you to believe. Unless you have an industrial type kitchen, because that type of surface evenly heats the entire wok, and the chances of your small home kitchen stove being able to do that are slim to none. So, may I introduce the skillet? But if you're working on a calcifer, make sure he doesn't go past your butane tank. Unless you want to end up like the dummy family in the safety video I've heard so much about. First, we're going to start with our onions, white onions that I've diced. That seems like a good amount. I'm going to add a handful of green onions. This seems pretty, like, good to go, so I'm going to add in the... Oh my gosh, I did the kimchi or the rice first, I forgot. I'm going to do the kimchi. I feel like this looks good, so I'm gonna make a little well in the middle. I don't know why, that just feels chefly. And I'm gonna add in my rice and egg mixture, and we're gonna just incorporate them all together. A little bit of soy sauce, sake. You're gonna wanna cook that until the alcohol is cooked out, unless you wanna get a little litty. And then you're gonna add in your bacon. I think it's done. It looks done to me. So we're gonna let it sit for a second. So now that it has had time to settle, it's time to plate. I got these really cute little bowls from the grocery store because Ami's a bit Daddy. of a perfectionist. You're early! Hi. I'm just making us some snacks. Well, I got one of three. Wait, three snacks? Yeah, I'm making uh, kimchi fried rice three different ways. I didn't know which way you liked it or that I liked it for that matter because it's my first time making it. But here's the first one. Well, we can eat this, but I don't think we have time to eat two other kimchi. It's okay. You can just read me the stories and I will cook. This is our assignment. We have to read The Goldfinch for English literature and it has 771 pages, which you need to get to at least chapter. 50? Isn't that just a Harry Potter fan fiction? Anyways, you know, this but is kind of a good, like... Oh! <gasps> oh, sorry! This is limited edition! And then you garnish on top with green onions. Oh, me, I'm doing my YouTube show. Look at all these cameras. And I got Melvin on handheld. Or Marvin, what is your name? <laughs> oh, Ami, this is actually really cute. Look at that. The perfect study snack! <laughs> or dinner for your family, or your lover, or your goldfinch. Ami, I worked so hard on that. This is the first time I've made kimchi fried rice. I saved up money to get the nice part cover of this. Yeah, and it looks dirty. So this is for you. It's a symbol of my love. You know food's one of my love languages. But, but cook for other people but, to then be given we, we also need to read Sherlock Holmes. That's so boring. We also have math. No, kimchi fried rice. Try my rice. Try my rice. Try my rice. Oh, it smells really good. Yes, it does because I made it with love. Because I am a master this chef. Is really good. You like it? Actually, yeah. Describe the flavors to me. Well, the rice has a life of its own and it bursts in my mouth. Damn, mommy, you're like really getting into that description. This is very good. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a. Mommy did a great job describing that. I mean, I have three more of these to make. You know, I'm gonna pull an all nighter. We may as well have a lot of fuel. Okay, fine. Only this once. This isn't happening again. Uh huh. I'm letting you off easy. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to kimchi fried rice round two. This is a more traditional Korean inspired style. It's the more traditional version. Let's go. Ami, you finished that entire bowl. Mm, really good. You guys give me so much grief for eating so fast. Well, I'm very flattered. Let's go. It's near for nothing. All right, to start, we're going to fry up this ham. And we're going to turn down the heat because my god. to cooking. It's trying your food. Very salty. Which is good to know, so we know not to add much of any salt. Would you say I am pretty much master chef, Ami? Well, I wouldn't know because I haven't actually tried any master chef food. I wouldn't know if you're a master chef. A very safe answer, Ami. All right, time for assembly. We're going to turn on the death trap. Maybe just like we did before, but adding in some different and new stuff. We're gonna add in the rest of our kimchi. And we're gonna add hot pepper paste, hot pepper flakes, powder, red pepper, nice tasty. 
We're gonna give that a good mix. Now we're gonna add in our rice into the center for no apparent reason. This is the part where I switch over to chopsticks for a little bit, and I just feel like I have better control. Add a little bit of soy sauce, extra sesame oil. And I'm also gonna add in a little bit of butter. Add in our ham. I can feel in my soul that that is blood. Now that we have our kimchi fried rice in its bowl, it is time to plate it. And to plate it, we are going to add a fried egg on top. It's the egg of the hour. And for additional garnish, toasted sesame seeds on top. And I have had better plating, I, I will admit. And we're done! He gets a 4 out of 10 for the plating. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it just looks kind of sloppy on top. I tried. If you're aiming for Master Chef, the plating is everything. I'm trying, dude. It's just it's such a small bowl, and I, and I wanted to go big instead but of you're going home. No, I'm not going home. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ami. Eat your meal! Here's a lot of flavor. Yay! Wow. wow. It's spicy. Yes. Melvin said the other one wasn't spicy <laughs> enough despite the goal not being spicy. It needs more runny egg. I'll try it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. That was Marvin's bite! Spicy, it's complex, it's salty, it's savory. It's better than anything a man could ever hope to give you. <laughs> or Ami could hope to do. <laughs> wow! Man, I was worried I couldn't make kimchi fried rice, but I've made two excellent dishes. All right, now we're on to our last and final, but not least, seafood kimchi fried rice. For my kimchi seafood fried rice, I am putting in shrimp, scallops, squid, and clam. So we're gonna start out with the shrimp first. This is stuff we did in the beginning, and so now we're gonna finish it off with some fresh lemon. So now that that's all in there, give them a nice mix. They've been sitting for probably about two hours in the marinade, and since they've been sitting in olive oil, you do not need to put additional olive oil in the pan. I have never cooked seafood before in my entire life. So, should you really be starting now? Let's get started. But she wasn't when she stole them. How it? This really isn't how you should cook scallops, but Marvin has to be up at five in the morning and he's putting pressure on me to speed up my cooking process. So if we all get food poisoning, Marvin gets to pay at the hospital bill. How should they be cooked too, Sabi? Gently, tenderly. As you would a lover. Hey, That's a moron. I really don't know about these. They smell a little funny. Do you need to drain the sauce? Should I? Yeah. Well, it smells more so than the last one. Oh, well, now we're searing the squid. I have lightly salted him. And we put some oil in the pan. And then we give it about like two ish minutes on each side. It doesn't look very appetizing. I never said I like seafood. I'm dying. Why are you dying? But we're still cooking. We have a test tomorrow. Yes. I'm worried about you. I am sure. You always fail. All right. I'm just going to wing a sauce with these clams. I'm putting in butter, a lot of olive oil, two fresh lemon slices, and more butter. I love butter. A buttery sauce of butter. Um, can you give me a lid? Add in our lamb. Salt. A little bit of calamansi. What? Juice. Chives. Cover it until they pop open. Cut it as you would your favorite mozzarella. See, he's cooked all the way through. Look at that. I'm so good at this. Eat it. So eat good. it. It's so eat good. it. See, look, they popped open. So now we're on to the third and final part of the third and final part. And no, we're, we're really not. All right, so we're on to the fried rice part making thing of the third one. This is taking a long time. Pretty much gonna do it in the same way as we have with the other ones. We're gonna turn this guy on, oil. And for this one, I'm spicing it up by adding in garlic and shallots. Sesame oil, a handful of the green onion, three and chives. Add in our rice, some more of that. Mommy, can you pass me the soy sauce? Yep, wow. we're out of fuel. Butane tank twice, and it's making a questionable sound. And that safety video just keeps playing in slow motion in both of our brains. You know when the person do flames. Interestingly enough, no. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Usagi's Kitchen. You can cook it on the ashes stove.
We're gonna cook it on the actual stove. Now that we're on a safe stove, letting it come back up to temperature because Calcifer has decided to test God today. Back in there. Add in our spicy paste. So as Marvin's informed me, your kimchi fried rice really is only as good as your kimchi. And apparently the kimchi we got, I haven't had much kimchi in my life, is not the greatest. I think it tastes fine. Marvin has other opinions. That is my wisdom. Go online, find a good reviewed kimchi. Or talk to your local grocer. That requires social interaction, which is a bit anxiety inducing. I read your bird book. This chapter is called The Idiot. Now we're gonna add in squid and the shrimp. We're only gonna do some of the shrimp. It is time to put our clams on this chowder. We put this on top. Oh <laughs> my god, that's way too much, Usagi. I'm doing my best. I mean, you can do better than me. However, your best is not that good right now. Ami! This looks really sad. <laughs> this is really sad. This will look appetizing. I don't wanna see that on my menu picture. <laughs> Put the hot sprinkles on. Sesame seeds. Can you stop looking like you're about to vomit? I'm crying. Actually, I want you to know the difference. And then we're gonna add on the black toast to sesame seeds. Al nori. There. Okay. All done. Who wants the first bite? I think Ami does. Uh, All right. Eat up. Hold on. Is Miss Marvin done getting his glamour shots? Get your hands out of my glamour shots. Marvin sounds like a demonic entity <laughs> that entered the household. I mean, he is a demonic entity. Yeah, he does. Is that how you got him here? You don't want to know how I got him here. He has pretty low standards. Try the clam. Try the uh, clam. That's a lot of seafood. Where's the rice? Interesting texture. Yeah. It's weird because I'm eating shrimp and clam at the same time. Mm-hmm. The shrimp flavor is pulling through. It's not like terrible. If it was bad, I'd be spitting it out. <laughs> My own cooking is worse than this. There's plenty of clams for everyone. Oh, here's squid. Yeah. I don't like any of these textures, <laughs> just letting you know. But I will eat it for you, and you, it's not. I mean, if you like seafood, but if you don't, I don't recommend this. But if you like seafood, maybe eat this. I don't know. I don't know what's good. This has three things in it. It has squid. It has scallop. I'm not going to have another clam. Oh, mm. what weird. Mm. So my review is, if you don't mind weird seafood texture, it's not a bad taste. However, I do think there's a lot of seafood in here. So the Japanese style kimchi fried rice was actually really good. It wasn't too spicy, savory flavor. I really enjoyed it. Next one was a bit spicier. I liked it. It was a lot more rich. The third one I would never eat willingly. And that is a personal preference. Usagi. Usagi? Yeah. What, what's going on? Nothing. You want to try your seafood? No. Why? And with that, I think she says something along the line. Oh, and when the moon punishes you, go get what there. Are you so, as a person who likes seafood, do you like the seafood medley? I'm actually not a big fan of like mixing seafood. Then why did you do it? Seemed like fun. Would you do this again? No. If you could do two seafood and the the rice, what would you do? I'd do the clam and the shrimp together. Actually, I would just do the shrimp personally. I actually think I like the clam best. Yep, kind of good. I don't know why I was scared of this. Want to try some Marvin? Well, that concludes this episode of Usagi's Kitchen, featuring Ami. Thank you for joining me, even though you were coerced into this. You act like you've been tortured, but you had two very good meals and one that you weren't crazy about. Well, thank you guys for joining us, and be sure to comment below on what dish you want to see me cook next. And if you want to have voting rights on it, be sure to join the Gucci Gremlin Gang, which you can also do in the description below. You can also get recipes for all the things that we cooked today and things we've cooked other days on the Gucci Gremlin Gang in the link in the description below. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Time to explode this in the backyard. <laughs> Time to explode this in the um, backyard. Time to explode. Let's not do backyard. that. Time hey, to hey, explode let's... this in the backyard. Let's... I'm going Time to take to this. Time to explode this in the backyard for science class. Come on. No. <laughs>